Okay, this is me looking a mess. Um, here is fat bean, lazy and mean. Aren't you fat? Fat. And this is my room. You can't tell the ugly ass green color that it is. My vision board is that somebody who I won't say whose name is took with my two hundred thousand dollar bill and the ugly green color and my pretty lights and average plain looking drop ceiling and light fixture and the shelving I got beginning at the container store the last last two shelves from Home Depot and that little basket that's sloppy and dirty but I reorganized my shelving and I ha and I reorganized all of this put all because these were up here I couldn't reach so I put stuff that I don't use all the time up here and towels here I need to organize and make this much neater jeans here these are I don't know, I have to redo this because it's raggedy. My carpet, which is plush, but needs to get shampooed. This raggedy ass bed that I'm gonna turn into a, a what do you call it? A, a platform bed. I'm turning this twin mattress and box spring into a platform bed. And I'm painting this ugly as, I don't know what color this will be sea foam pea green. Can't even tell this ugly color with this camera but if you can tell it's ugly sea foam pea green and I'm putting some more white I think they call them molding in the front because there's no molding here there and I'm, I guess I'm gonna have them put something there and I'm gonna paint the walls um like a very light tan color almost like you know and paint the walls tan color I'm gonna put like you know I'm gonna take this down and put like a curtain rod from here there right underneath the smoke detector with some thick plush velvet looking tan color curtains like that tan and then these two white ones in between some white sheer ones I have another one up there and a hot red sheer one in the middle of it and I'm come on in Miss Cutie come on in Miss Cutie Miss Cutie says she'll help me as well as fat since fat's been guarding my room and so I'm going to reorganize that and I'm going to get a queen size platform. I'm going to get a queen size mattress. I'm turning this box spring and old ass mattress that I've had for since 2000 and I don't know, three or four since over a decade. This raggedy ass mattress and box spring. I'm turning that into the base of the platform and I'm going to get some, I guess, plywood or whatever the hell type of stuff I can get at Home Depot and nail it or, or pro no screw. I'm going to screw it in. To, and I guess I get a couple pieces of plywood or plywood pulp to put over this raggedy ass mattress and use the box spring and the mattress as the base and get a piece of sturdy smooth plywood to put on top of it and get some foam from Michaels or whatever you know some foam noodle thingies I don't know what the hell you call it to put around the edge of the board so I won't injure and attack my dainty shins and put some type of nice tan very pale sand looking fabric around the edges of it I'm gonna make a baseboard with a piece of that same plywood or and some foam and that same material and put like a pretty rice paper Japanese shoji screen looking thing in the middle of it with the hot red thingy and I'm gonna get a queen size mattress to put on top of it and I'm going to take the crates, basic milk crates that I have for 100 years that I'm not really using at the moment. And I'm going to turn this crate here, if you can see it. I'm going to turn this crate. I'm going to wrap that crate in the same nice material, lighter than this futon color. I'm going to wrap this crate in another crate that I put in the hall. It's an empty crate, so I'm just, I just threw it in the hallway because there was no room. And I'm going to wrap that with a nice material and I'm going to put that in my room on, as an end stand with storage. And I'm thinking of, you know, since the TV stand is out here, but I have, you know, I, I like to look at TV and lay in bed like a couch potato or look on the internet because I have that streaming Roku wannabe thing. I just have to go to Best Buy and probably get it. I'm going to turn, I'm going to clean, turn this into a TV stand because this is narrow and put that in my room against the wall and bring the little TV in there and a VCR and a Roku and maybe get satellite and rig it up and then just turn this into like a entertainment center because I was going to get a stereo. What do you call those things? 
speakers and a woofer and a you know boom whatever you call it from Best Buy so I could put like a speaker in that corner I guess and a speaker in this corner I think they call those the tweeters and then they got like this thing called a bookshelf speaker or something I guess I can go in that corner and this corner or wherever the hell a bookshelf and this woofer thing I don't know where the hell the subwoofer could go under wherever it was I was gonna get it so I think it's like 700 bucks for the whole kit and then you have to get like this VCR dashboard thingy that you rig up to your iPod or radio or something so you can listen to the music and I'm gonna probably bring those lights out there perhaps out here perhaps because I'm gonna redo this I'm gonna, that'll be in my room I don't know why I turned the light off but that'll be in my room that'll be in my room That'll be in my room. The toys and stuff will probably be somewhere up here. The black light, I guess I'll hang up here somewhere for the time being. Those purple lights I'll hang out here. And I would like to get some pretty delicate white Christmas lights. Since it's now January 20th and everything that's on sale for Christmas is probably like sent back to the sender. So I should be able to find some Christmas white Christmas lights for like 50 cents. Or I probably have some in my pantry because I usually like the Christmas lights that are... And I want to change that light fixture. I don't know if you can see it, but... Well, I guess you can't see it with the light off, but... It's a typical, ugly-looking... You know, typical, not-so-cute light fixture. It's average. And I, ha I bought from Ikea the rice paper lantern light fixture, which I never figured out how to hang, and I've been trying to get somebody to hang it for me. And, um... I was successfully not able to find anyone to hang it, so it's never been hung. So basically, um, since I don't have a mirror on my camera, I will basically try to hang it myself. I'm in the bathroom now. And I bought like a shower head because I'm basically trying to turn my, well, for the time being, I'm trying to turn this apartment into like a nice relaxing lounge. I don't know how ragged this video will be, but I'm going to turn, I'm going to replace this shower head with oh it's seven minutes of this so far with this thing I got from like Home Depot this water pick I need another water pick for my tube my thing I'm supposed to have like five modes or something all oh, that stuff you know whatever five modes so I'm gonna replace that so I can have a nice massage for my delicate shoulder that's always hurting um you know so I at least have a spa experience in my bathroom you know, for the time being, until I move downstairs. So I'll have a nice spa experience in the bathroom. And I'm going to move. I don't know why I keep turning that light off. But anyway, I'm going to move. That's going to be gone. That's going to be gone. This raggedy ass futons donation. When I move downstairs, whoever moves up here can have this futon and they can have this mattress and box spring. And um, they can trash it. Because I'm taking the queen mattress and I'm trying to turn it into a Murphy bed. And Granny's couch that has become a scratching post for Miss, for one particular fat cat that's sitting here that insists on using Granny's chair as a scratching post, even though she's had other items to scratch, she insists on it. I'm going to try to turn that into like this little office, what do they call it, an office pod or something? So anyway, um, I don't know, I'm using this. So I'm trying to turn that into an office pod. Since I have, I'm just going to try to test them. My therapist said, well, before you invest any money, check them out. So they have these different office pods. A former human that lived here was causing havoc, but she threw all of my stuff in the back. So I'm going to move all of this stuff, including Monty Q, my elephant toy and everything, and I guess into the basement or something. And I'm going to put the same fabric that I used to turn this into a nice stand and turn the other crate into a nice stand and to build my um, headboard. And, um, to build my headboard, I don't know how this looks. Oh, I guess I can see how I look. To build my headboard and, um, whatever. To build my headboard and to build that stuff. I'm going to use the same material for the headboard, the thing, the, whatever you call it, the platform. The platform frame, the headboard, the two fake me out nightstands. And I'm going to make this into like a cubicle. An office cubicle since I get absolutely nothing done unless I force myself to go to Starbucks or 
Denny's or Kinko's and do an all-nighter. I can't even, I don't even get organized to read my mail. I collect all my mail. As you can see, it's very organized and neat here. And I take it to Kinko's and I read it and I donate the stuff I don't want to their pile. And I read my mail at Kinko's. I go to, to that place and do all that other stuff like the, um, whatever you call that place. Um, King, I mean, I go to Starbucks and I read my mail. I go to Kinko's and do all my, like, calendars and stuff. But I'm basically trying to turn this into a little jamming lounge, you know. So that'll be gone. I'll have space there. This will be gone. These crates, I'm going to try to figure out where to put some where. And try to make a bit more space. Because, I mean, I have a little bit of space in here anyway. And, um... I'm going to turn this thing, and once I invest the 600 or 700 bucks into the Best Buy home sound system, I guess, I don't know what the hell you call those things, but anyway, I guess the dude would know how to do such a thing, I don't know how to do it, but nonetheless, I want to turn this into like a lounge, even though there's fur of Miss Cutie, which is really disgusting on my damn calendar, my cap, my candle, which is really annoying, Miss Cutie put her damn fur up here, I don't know why she was insisting on doing such things but whatever <sighs> she shuts too much but anyway i need to turn this into a sanctuary my stress is insanely t t high and it's causing adverse reactions to my health so i need to de-stress and relax so i'm turning my raggedy ass bedroom with the ugly ass pea green ugly ass paint walls into a nice relaxing modern minimalism cozy fake me out want to be hotel room as much as possible with a queen size mattress I may even get a memory foam if I can there's this I think someone calls them a front shop I think this is a fake me out front mattress shop down the street on Remsom Street in Albany who knows what he is doing I don't care you know he could be a mobster galore as long as I can get me a nice fresh queen mattress for like $150 or 200 throw in the memory foam for 250 I'll take it you know so he could be selling I don't know as long as I get the nice quality so he has dirt cheap crackhead prices for his front shop. Perfectly fine for me. I don't care. Um, and then, the, like I said, the baseboard or plywood or whatever you call that stuff. I plan to get at Home Depot for his whatever they charge. Like, I don't know, five bucks or whatever they charge. Um, and some ply, whatever that plywood stuff. I'm sure I could rig up. The, oh, and the paint is like 25 bucks. I found a gallon of paint. And I have like five gallons of ugly ass gray paint in the basement. So I'm going to use that as a base coat or something and I'm sure I could find that white molding that's pre-made at Home Depot for like five bucks and do say he'll paint my whole room for a hundred bucks because it's a small room so that's cool with me and I could probably go to like price shop or the grocery store and get like a carpet shampooer and shampoo it so I'm planning to rig up my whole room with the nice curtain set from I don't know Walmart or some affordable store because I'm you know and like the painting it and the baseboard and all that stuff and using the materials I have here and the, the fabric from like a fabric store or Michaels for the foam and all that stuff to make the headboard so hopefully for like $200 I have me a nice cozy fake me out modern you know modern fake me out hotel style bedroom one of me type stuff I don't know or whatever you want to call it and um, I just wanted to show the before picture for my own reference and record. And then, you know, this is Daddy's painting. So, of course, you can't see it because the lights are off. Nonetheless, and I want to turn this. I'm going to bring the lights out here and put that and turn it into a TV stand that I got from, like, Family Dollar for, like, $20 or something, 15 bucks. Turn that into the TV stand with the TV I got for free from my aunt and rig that stuff up. Like, you get the satellite dish for, like, $25 a month, which is 10 times cheaper than cable. Which is like 90 bucks a month. But then I heard the satellite dish every 15 minutes. That if it's snowy or cloudy, you have no reception. I look a hot mess because I've been trying to like measure stuff. And I'm an expert at measuring. But I mean, I can rig it up. You know. And um, so I was just showing the before picture. I don't have anything posted lately. Because I haven't been posting anything. But nonetheless, with this high-end videography I'm doing. And cinematography and camera angles. And not looking into the camera as always. This is a good way I can at least look at myself in this mirror as I hold my camera very weirdly. But I wanted to turn this into a lounge to jam and dance and relax. Turn that into a home office 
pod where I'm going to put the same material around. I'm going to drape it around the window. So I want something that's translucent or solid enough where I won't be distracted or looking out the window because I my attention span is about 5.0 seconds. So if I put like the trans, you know, thin white material, this cream color, tan or sand color, color material around the windows that I'll get lots of bright light during the day because it's very bright. The sun is, I guess this is north, the sun rises in the north. I mean, the sun comes right at 5, 36 in the morning. I wake up because the sun is gleaming in my eyeball. If I sleep out here on this food time, um, I don't need an alarm clock. The sun will wake me up, you know, you know, having a sun being right into my eyeball at like six in the morning good morning here I am the sun is up and I'm till you know good morning so I have to literally flip size you know if I'm laying on this end I have to lay on that end and 30 minutes later that sun is popping my eye again so I usually just says so forget it so usually if I need to really really get up early and the, between the cats disturbing me and the sun waking me up in the morning because of the bright sun rays in the window, um, it's a natural alarm clock. And I can snooze as much as I want. I'm going to be forced to get up because who can sleep a, you know, a strobe of light in their eyeballs? So, you know, that wakes me up anyway. So it's very bright, these windows, in this very bright sun. So if I put this material up there, it's, it's, you know, because this is very translucent, this material here. You can see right through it, obviously. So what's the point? It's just, you know, it's translucent. It's almost transparent. I mean, it is transparent. I mean, you could, you know, it's a transparent material. Look, I can see myself right through it, you know, and I'm looking at my reflection in this mirror. Yeah, that's a joke. So this is transparent. I need something that's solid, but not like one of those um, theater, we absorb all light, so your place is a dark, you know, greenhouse or black what do you call those things um where they develop film you know I don't I don't need like a um, film developing spot I want something that brings in light but it's solid enough that I won't be able to look outside and be distracted by the activity and the riffraff or the buses or whatever so I need something to like a capsule or a sleeping pod or some type of capsule that will keep me focused so if I have like this material draped around me and all this junk gone and just a nice cozy chair for new what do you call those things a new chair cover and bringing that raggedy keyboard I don't know what you call it that raggedy thing this raggedy ass whatever you call this thing here this raggedy um keyboard stand or whatever laptop stand bringing that out into here with that and um, I can put the raggedy laptop stand over there for the time being just to test this to see how well it would work. So I could move all that stuff, drape this drapery around it so I have lots of natural light coming through the drape. But it'll be solid enough that I won't be able to see anything outside. You know, blast some nice music to keep me alert and attentive and focused. And then drape it even over the front so I won't be distracted. Then I have this pretty, you know, teal colored curtain thing that I got from Walmart or whatever for like 20 bucks or whatever it was 15 bucks and then I could put that raggedy old keyboards table out there that's falling apart for the time being and see how well I could do my mail and typing and all that stuff plus I won't be connected to the internet unless I keep it wireless and then that'll you know, force me to be productive so I could try to test out this office pot right here where the material drapes around the entire window I have a only thing I have is the chair the maybe I'll put a crate back there if I can fit it go figure if I can the chair a crate and for my desk and that raggedy ass computer table and my laptop to type and to do my mail and to focus and a curtain to block out the world but I can have the music going to keep me up you know update alerted you know so I won't fall asleep and be bored you know so I could do that try that We'll see how that goes for the next month or so. And I'm, so, so the same material I use to wrap this crate and make that platform and bed uh, headboard, I'm going to use to wrap around the window. And then I'm going to move all the TV and stuff in my room so I can watch TV and be lazy sloth when I'm ready to go to bed. And look at YouTube via that Roku, whatever the hell, streaming thing. And um, on video streaming. And I'll turn this into like a boombox, whatever you call it, so I could jam and de-stress. Because 
you need to distress daily at least like my physical therapist said you know relax and distress at least five or ten minutes every day and schedule it and you could clear your mind distress you know meditate speak on you know verbal commands and affirmations or whatever but deep breathing is very useless I mean I could deep breathe first off my sinuses and post nasal drip will have me you know sniffling within the first zero seconds of deep breathing and secondly after counting the breaths for the first breathing in and breathing out my mind wanders I mean counting breaths doesn't work however my mind is too active to have no thinking is not a possibility um, I'm either sleeping and dreaming, which I remember my dreams, or I'm actively thinking. I don't just blank out my mind, except doing karaoke or maybe watching something on the internet or a video, like a movie or a video, doc or dancing, because dancing and jamming, I kind of daydream about jamming and dancing, and it clears my mind. It's kind of like, I guess that's my only now moment, because I'm listening to the mu mo music, the rhythm takes me, and I, whether it's like Middle Eastern or house music, whatever, I kind of like jam away. And that clears my mind, and that's my now, in the moment, clear your mind, de-stress thing. Plus, it's cardio. Plus, it's um, isolations, and it's cardio, and it's de-stressing. So, if I could do that maybe an hour, three or four times a week, then that's three or four times of cardio in my living room. And it's not like I have to look at some high-low video or tie bow or some DVD of exercising or I have to bring out my step and try to do a step routine I just jam to some music that I mean I could be like I could be in my bed and jamming and shaking my butt and shaking my ass and so I'm gonna move anyway because the music the rhythm is good and you can find all types of great stuff on YouTube if the rhythm is good I'm gonna be jamming anyway and I'll be jamming the period so I can jam and I could while I'm jamming I could cardio burn calories de-stress, relax, stretch my muscles, you know, everything else. So I'm going to try to turn this into like a jam studio? That's a good word for it. Turn...